Look at, look at them, look at them, they're darting off. They're darting off, they're deep. Oh no, there's a dead peacock bass right there. That is a Florida crawfish right there. What do you guys think? Should we go inside? Should we make our way inside there? Let's see. Oh my God, look at all the footprints inside there. There's so many footprints like raccoons and birds. What's about to go down is a grouper versus a crawfish. Let's see who wins. Welcome back to steaming hot sunny South Florida today. Right now it's about 88 degrees and we are in a location that's just about completely dried up. You guys have seen me here a lot in the past and usually all right here is filled with water into that tunnel. But we haven't had any rain in quite a bit of time. So what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna go through all of these pockets right here and see what we can find. I already did a little walk that way and uh, I saw tons of little fish and it should make for an awesome video. Let's jump into it. So here is the river right here and all the water is slowly starting to funnel back into the big body of water right there. So I'm thinking if we put a fish trap right here, all the fish that are up that way will make their way down towards the fish trap. Now look at this. These are all little tiny puddles and they all have baby fish trapped inside. Maybe even a couple bigger ones like there's some over there. And I see lots of movement inside of all these little things. Now we're gonna get this fish trap all set up and we're gonna get this in the water and put it right there in hopes we're gonna get this thing loaded with fish. You guys, it is so dang hot today here in South Florida. I mean, to be exact, it is 88 degrees, not a lick of wind and the sun is beating down on us. It is hot, but you know what? I'd rather be hot than cold. We're getting going here, guys. We're getting this fish trap secured and then we're gonna get some bait inside of it and we're gonna throw it in the water. We should get a good amount of fish. I haven't been back to this spot in a while. Usually tons of baby peacock bass, big peacock bass, snakeheads, and a whole lot more. So for bait, I went into my pantry, grabbed what I had. I have an everything bagel here. We're gonna throw that inside of the fish trap, break that up a little bit, just like that. Get that inside and then a bait that I've actually never used before. Pepperoni right here. Desperate times call for desperate measures, people. We were low on bait, but you know what? Hot dogs work really well for crawfish, so I think why not try some pepperoni, baby? Let's get that inside the trap. Bada bing, trap is loaded. Let's go ahead, get it in the water. Now right here, there's a ton of movement, and that's pretty much the last pocket right here, but beyond the tunnel, there's a heck of a lot more water, but I think right here is going to be perfect. It's like pretty, pretty dang deep, come on. Okay, not as deep as I thought it was. We're really getting shallow here, huh? I think right there is good. I mean, I don't really know how deep this whole entire area is, but at least the entry points to get inside of the tunnel are underwater. We're gonna start diving into some of these puddles here because guys, let me tell you what, there is a lot of fish inside here. I see a couple right there, hang on. Good God, they're fast. They're moving down. Right here is where most of the fish are concentrated because it's a bit of a deeper pocket. Ugh. Let's see. We're diving into this stuff here, Jack. Look at, look at them, look at them. They're darting off. They're darting off. They're deep. Got them. Got them. Got them. What did we get, boys? Okay. Looks like guppies, but no. We have more than guppies inside here. I can guarantee you that. All right. We got guppies. This is not really what we're after. We're going to go ahead and take those, throw them back. I know I saw some bigger fish around here. We got to keep looking. Oh, no. There's a dead peacock bass right there. No, guys, this is the problem out here. Oh my God, look at this. Look at that. That's a dead peacock bass, no. Take this back to land. You guys could see it sitting down there. That is a dead peacock right there. Looks like something had him. This peacock is freshly dead. We caught it literally right over there in those weeds. This is a stunning fish right here. The peacock bass are insanely beautiful. And if you look right there, there is a hole in his head. I don't know whether that was a bird or what, but this guy, is definitely not doing too well. That's a peacock bass right there that we just found dead in the shallows. He was pretty close to making it out. I don't know if a lot of them are gonna be dead. We're gonna find a lot of dead fish today, but you know, we haven't had a lot of water in a while. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave that guy there. I don't really know what else I can do with it. I'm hoping that's gonna be the only dead fish we find today because we haven't had rain in quite a bit of time. And that's exactly why this area right here is pretty much dry land. Let's see what we got in the weeds. <sighs> There we go. Oh man, that's a lot of weeds. But you know what lives in weeds? A lot of things. We've got a cluster of weeds inside here. We already have a little specimen right there. Looks like a crab. This stuff is gross, man. This stuff is gross. Oh, look at this, you guys. Oh, even shrimp. Baby shrimp, but look at this. Look at this right here. 
That's my first crawfish, I think. That is my very first crawfish. That is a Florida crawfish right there living inside of the weeds. Take a look at that guy. That's a freshwater invertebrate creature right there. Look at him walk around in my hand. And we have other, look at this, look at right here. Look at this, this guy's jumping around. We got ghost shrimp, we got ghost shrimp too. We got crawfish right here and we have a ghost shrimp. What the heck? Imagine we find an all blue craw, that would be ridiculous. Look at him cruising right there. Oh. He just jumped back in the net. Look at that. All right, let's see. let's get this guy in the bucket. We're gonna keep going through this, and then let's keep scooping. If we can catch a bunch of those crawfish, that'll be really cool to take those back and feed them to Puff Daddy. That would be epic. There's a bunch of fish, like guppies and such, right on top. But I think the weeds is definitely gonna be our money maker today. We really gotta watch out for gators, though. No joke. Get up in these weeds here. He's gonna get as much weeds as we can, because a lot of times you can spook out the crawfish. You can spook out the the uh, the ghost shrimp as well let's go see if we found anything inside this put it right here oh my god what is that what is that tadpole freaking tadpole what the heck look at that tadpole right there what kind of tadpole is that ladies and gents bullfrog maybe that is a literal tadpole that's going to turn into a frog right there that is pretty dang cool throw him back it's crazy what you can find there's another fish right there I don't know what kind of fish that is. I think that's some sort of platy, molly, something like that. Don't really know, but you never know what you're gonna find out here inside of all this junk here. Walking up to the, the tunnel here, you guys. This is a little intimidating, I'll tell you that. What do you guys think? Should we go inside? Should we make our way inside there? Let's see. Oh my God, look at all the footprints inside there. There's so many footprints, like raccoons and birds. There's a big puddle in there. Uh, I don't know guys, that's a little freaky. I don't know if there's snakes or gators inside there. Ugh. There are some good weeds right there. Well, already, I already see just, I already see stuff jumping around in there already. We got another crawfish right there. Take a look at that guy. He's smaller than the last one, but that's number two on the crawfish today. He literally jumped out of my net when I was uh, going through it all. We also have so many ghost shrimp as well, but those ones are really hard for the camera to see, but we got another baby crawfish right there. Take a look at that guy right there. He's cruising around. That's a perfect bite-sized snack for Puff Daddy and maybe the grouper as well. That is epic. I'm starting to think maybe we'll have a lot of them inside of the fish trap. I'm over here on the other side taking a look. As you guys can see, the tunnel runs back through here and this stuff is pretty much almost all dried up. So whatever is stuck inside here is going to be toast within the next few days unless we get a lot of rain. But in the forecast, there's not any rain that's supposed to be hitting us. So this right here is just about the end of it. Like we got little fish right here. Let's see, yeah, they're all, no, too small. They go through the net. This thing leads right here. Look at all these footprints too. This is a little freaky, a little freaky to me, but you know what? Getting out of my comfort zone here. Look, it goes right through the tunnel. That is epic. <clears throat> Oh, all right, you guys, it is steaming hot and I did not bring any water with me today. I am about to have a heat stroke, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead, pull the trap. I just went through a bunch of the stuff over there and I got a lot of ghost shrimp, which is great. We'll feed all the fish and that'd be awesome. But if you guys want me to come back and explore this area a little bit more in depth when I have a filmer, it'd be a lot easier for me. I think we could find some really insane stuff, maybe a blue crawfish. Those were the first Maybe not the first crawfish I've ever found, but definitely some of the first I've ever found, if that made any sense. But if you guys want me to come back to this area, really, really search through it. Let's get 5,000 likes on this video and we'll make it happen. Let's go pull the trap. All right, it's trap time, baby. It's trap time. Let's see what we got. Okay, baby, let's go. Let's pull this thing. Oh my God, yep, we got minnows. We got another craw inside there too and some minnows. I don't know if you guys can see the crawfish right there crawling around he probably went right for the pepperoni where'd mr crawfish go there he is right here our third crawfish of the day it's actually crazy oh we got some minnows inside there too come here crawl oh yeah look at that another crawfish right there this guy only has one claw so that's number three we have and we have a bunch of little tiny ghost shrimp so we got three crawfish inside there and some ghost shrimp that is epic and one little minnow these fish in this saltwater aquarium here are looking really dang good and i'm getting super excited to add them to the saltwater pond now all the creatures we did catch today that we kept are going to be fed i got a good amount of the ghost shrimp inside here now watch this angelfish usually i'll feed him oh there goes the pork fish Usually I'll feed this guy frozen mice shrimp, but as you guys can see, nothing like a live shrimp. Watch this. Look at it. He's trying to chase it. 
So dang cool. Look at that. Look at him. Hey, that's grass. You don't want that, buddy. But the pork fish right there is actually going to work. He's chasing, chasing, chasing. But the star of the show, the one I was most excited for, Puff Daddy, I have something very special for you, buddy. Puff Daddy, you get over here, mister. Look at that. Do you not see that crawfish right there? Watch this, you guys. Angelfish, this is not for you. This is for Puff. This is for the Puff, okay? The Puff. Puff? Puff. It's over in the back there. It is over in the back on the ground. He sees it. I think he might see it right now. It's on the ground right there. Oh my god, the angelfish is trying to eat it. I didn't. That was the last person I expected to try and eat the crawfish right there. Look at him. He's pecking at it. He's on it. He's on it. He's on it. He's on it. Oh my god, he's fired up. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is going down right now. This is going down right now, ladies and gents. Look at this. Now the pork fish is all over it. Puff Daddy, do not give up on him like that. Are you kidding me? You know what? It's because you haven't been raised by me since you were a baby. I just started being your father, and you're going to let this guy get away, okay? Not going to happen. Here he goes. Here he goes. He's on him now. Come on, dude. Go. Get him in the corner. Let's go. He's up top. How are you not getting him? How? Chase him. Chase him. Oh! Oh! Oh, my God. We can't see him anymore. Here we go. It's back on, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. Oh! That was epic. That was absolutely re- Ridiculous right there. He shredded him. He literally just shredded that crawfish right there. Now to feed my most aggressive fish that I have on the channel right here, and that is Charizard. I saved him one lovely, lovely crawfish, and I know this guy's gonna destroy it. Look at that guy. He already knows what's going on. The only way he does not eat this right here is if he's just a little bit concerned on what this guy is. But what's about to go down is a grouper versus a crawfish. Let's see who wins. First things first, the stare down here. Oh, Tom's not too happy. All right, here we go. Ow, he's pinching me. He's pinching me in three, two, one. Oh my God. I don't even know if we captured that. Oh, we spit it out. Oh, we got it back. Oh, oh, oh my God. He is so fired up with that thing. Now groupers have what's called crushers in the back of their throat. So when they get things like a crab or a lobster or a crawfish, they put it in their mouth, they put it in their throat, and then the crushers break it down. So that's how groupers are able to eat big things like lobsters, crabs, and crawfish. That guy's epic. I'm going to throw the rest of these ghost shrimp inside here for Tom and I also have great news about Marty. Marty has started eating frozen shrimp, which is absolutely great. He's starting to warm up to the aquarium. Look at that color on that eel right there. He is a beautiful more eel. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you all did enjoy this freshwater to saltwater feeding. I think I had a good time today. If you guys want me to go back and maybe explore inside that tunnel in that whole area, 5,000 likes on this video will make it happen. If you guys want to get some awesome fish guy apparel, click the first link down in my description and use my code fishguyjack. It'll save you 10% at checkout and you'll be looking good. I got the gray fish guy trucker hat on right now. Been wearing it all day. Got the Fish Guy Performance T Vitamin C on right now. My favorite that we have on the site. I love you all so much. Thank you all so much for the support. Get ready. Subscribe to the channel. The Saltwater Pond's coming soon. Catch you all in that next video. Peace out.